by her husband. And I'm talking about being a totalitarian, and we're just talking God's order in the scheme of things as him being ahead and having the bump stop at his desk, the final city song. Give that verse to you in case you want to look it up for yourself. God's words the same today, yesterday, and forever. It's been spoken forever till the end of time. And this hasn't changed. But Satan changed the order of things in the family structure, the family unit. It made man the tail and not the head. And through this uh, feminazi movement that came about from the pillar of Um it's verse 5. Make sure you get it. Uh, God knows if people want to look this one up. It's um, Genesis 2. 16. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow, and thy conception in sorrow. Thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. Okay, some of you think I'm pulling scripture out. That's God's word of faith. The man is to be in subjection to Christ, and that's, he has his rule like a woman in subjection to Christ, and the woman is to be since the exes are ruled by the man, her husband. That's God's order. You know? He is an honor to the mother. You know? It's an order. You know? That's the family structure that the nucleus that family nucleus that Satan has destroyed. With this modern the feminism. The Jezebel spirit invading the family and the church. Okay, so now we go on. Um Also, 1 Kings, you can read that for yourself. 19, well, Jezebel threatened to kill Elijah himself. The, the apostle, the man of God, that God stands up for the ages. This Jezebel spirit goes after. This, this silence to shut down. And you can read in 2 Kings 9, 30, 37, the end of Jezebel. You can read that for yourself. Now, turn to Revelations 2.20. We're going to go to Revelations 2.20. Revelations 2.20. The devil with Jezebel, or the spirit of Jezebel in the church, this queen demon. Now Revelation 2.20, this is, this is uh, Christ Jesus himself, Pastor Christ Jesus, telling you how he feel about this Jezebel spirit that has invaded his church that he's bought with his own blood and is contaminating the worship in his church that he ordained for his men of faith. It was the ordained apostles, evangelists, pastors, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee because the vow suffers that woman Jezebel. You suffer that woman Jezebel. We aren't to suffer Jezebel in our churches. We are to suffer the spirit of Jezebel in our church. We aren't to tolerate that spirit. We are to exercise and drive that spirit out. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee because thou suffers that woman Jezebel which calleth herself a prophetess. This woman preacher here to teach and seduce my servants to commit fornication, 
to have to have lewd sex and to eat. Fornications come from the word pornea when we get pornography. And to eat things, sacrifice, or to idols. I gave her a space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. Behold, I will cast her out into a bed, and them that committed adultery with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. Now this is a fallen this this is a fallen church. A church that was infiltrated by the queen spirit of Jezebel to seduce. So we, remember we had seduction up here. We had hatred and seduction. The spirit seduces, lures through sexual appetites, greed, fornication. You can best believe how many of these, raise your hand, have you seen these prominent prosperity pimps go down with some kind of sexual deviant act that have been and been exposed in the news media? How many of them? That's part of the strategy of Jezebel to bring down America. Like I said, a lot of these people are behind the scenes that you see are committing lewd, or in the orgies. But this, this is part of Je Jezebel's get down here. It's not Jezebel's get down, the spirit of Jezebel. Satan's king. They join them. These Illuminati preachers, these Masonic preachers, 33 and a third preachers. Some are screwing orgies, uh, homosexuality. They cause it homosexual. Some are learning into pedophilia. Yeah. And God's going to expose them, trust me. The judgment begins in the house of the Lord. Some of them into some rude acts that you would have put somewhere in the cannibalism and vampire. SRA, slaughter the innocent. That's part of Jezebel's church. Part of the deeds is done behind closed doors in the church. Which things Christ hates. It's just part of the sacrifice in the items. That's being mentioned here. SRA, slaughter the innocent. Cannibalism environment. Vampires of the innocent. Goes back thousands of years. Part of the Babylonian. Hermetic religion. Now this was happening in Christ's day. This is the first church here. It was all that spirit of Jezebel was at work. Christ mentions it right here. And it only culminated until the century, until the uh, era that we live in. And it really drained steam. In 333 A.D., with the Constantine, the Spirit of Jezebel Church became a state religion and wedded itself with paganism and Christianity. In 33 A.D., under Constantine, became the Universal Church, the Catholic Church, and brought all this Jezebel worship, and pagan idols, and idolatry. And SRA slaughtered the innocents and you know, the vampires and the cannibalism, which is what their transubstantiation is based on cannibal, priest of Baal, where the word comes from. The slaughter of the innocents, drinking their blood and eating their flesh, where it comes from. You go back to Babylon and Nimrod, the Babylonian Hermetic Order. This is the Jezebel spirit at work that was there to form this church in the Middle Ages. And what did that church do? What manifests? So I told you, we'll keep reading this. Hatred manifests for the true church of Christ. The Christians were slaughtered, called the Inquisition. The Jezebel spirit kills them, God's prophets, and God's prosperity. The children, the family. 
destroys the, the Christian family. This towards the men of our faith and the women of faith. Hatred, seduction, is seduced. So, for a made a deal to stop the persecution. Paganism wedded Christianity in 333 under Constantine. Who was a pagan and never converted to Christ. But he seduced the church. Calculation. They planned this. They calculate. You know, playing chess while the Church of Christ is paying checkers. Manipulation. Murder. Sexual immorality. Occult. Occult was one. What do you think this Jezebel whore church does? It creates cults. We're going to read about that. That's going to be the, the end. The last verse we read. Insatiable appetite. Greed, the most corrupt church on earth, affording all the riches. Instituted an idol, a walking, talking idol, called the Pope. Nothing but a walking, talking idol. This has infiltrated the Christian church. And the Christian Protestant church is no longer protesting against what Luther in 1517 AD protested to break away from and return us to the basic fundamental faith in Christ Jesus. That message has been lost, the Protestant message. This Rome has dominated the so-called Protestant church with all these so-called denominations that have joined this new age movement that we have now the Jezebel Horn, Queen of Demons religion, new age now it's called, coexist, spearheaded by Rome. In the Jesuit order, which I don't tell a lot. This is the Jezebel spirit has invaded the church, and in that has come because you're now dealing with a witch and witchcraft in the church, and a lot of these Masonic preachers, 33 and 3rd, and nothing but wizards and witches, the female. That are behind these politics, but they join these Masonic orders and allowing Jezebel and her crew to kill off the church, the family, as well as the posterity of children like, through abortion. Nothing but the ancient occult. Is what the Jezebel spirit represents. Now, once again, hatred, seduction, calculation, manipulation, sexual immorality, that's what you have in the church now. Insatiable appetite, greed. You have the tolerance of SRA, slaughter of the innocents, cannibalism, vampirism, behind the scenes of the innocents destruction of the family and the nation. Righteousness exalts the nation, but sins are reproaching, destroys sin, destroys the nation. Puts you between, puts enmity between you and God. And God's pissed at the nation and judges the nation. Now, this spirit, we just read how Christ felt about it. 
Christ had said he's going to kill, we would read it, reread it again. See how Christ, he felt strong against him. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against you, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophet, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication. To commit fornication. To sell out to, and another way of committing motivation would be just to join the state, because that's what Catholicism is, it's a state religion that battles the seas, the pedal pole along the seas, having intercourse with the nations, the kings of the earth. It's another, beside the physical fornication, Spiritual fornication, treason, bow on the man, humanism, so 666. Earthly government supplanting God. Humanism, man exalted himself in the place of God, 666. Six, the number of man, man created on the sixth day times three, the number of divine manifestation, man. Manifested himself as God. Humanism divinely manifested. As they turned it back on God. Like they did in Genesis 11. See how that turned out. Notwithstanding, this is Christ speaking, I have a few things against you. Because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which called herself a prophetess. To teach and seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. We got a pagan hilly day coming up now called Christmas, where thousands of Christians doing doing the same thing Christ just mentioned here that the degree of judging them for them. Eating things sacrificed unto idols, putting an abomination in their homes called a phallic symbol called the Christmas tree. Not knowing the pagan roots of this December 25th has been a pagan holy day for thousands of years. Go back to Babylon, had nothing to do with Christ. But it was the birth of the Antichrist, Thomas, the sun god, the rebirth of the sun god. Nimrod's son, the so-called Sun born, born from a sun, sun being, and Samiris, the moon goddess. It's a total pagan holiday. A total demonic holiday. It's celebrated by Christmas. But here's just to show you how. And that was instituted in 433, Pope Sixes, the third, 666, instituted these pagan holidays. A game of Christian mass. <laughs> it's been around for thousands of years. Easter is another one. Christmas. Christmas. Mass was a barley cake baked to the Queen of Heaven to worry about. And Jeremiah. Jeremiah 10. God is rebuking his people for celebrating Christmas 400 years before Christ came. There's always been a celebration of time. It's about a Christian mass. It had nothing to do with Christ. Can't find it in the New Testament. This holy day being celebrated. But anyway. It just shows you how the Jezebel spirit at work to Christianize these pagan heathen holy days. How powerful this spirit is. So bring Satan in his kingdom, in his antichrist. Then I gave her space to repent of her fornication. And she repented not. Behold, I will cast her into a bed, and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except she repent of their deeds. And I will kill, this is Pastor Jesus talking, and I will kill her children with death. <laughs> Pastor Jesus threatened to kill her children. But, oh, love in Christ Jesus. Read this again. Of death. And I will kill her children 
with death. That don't even make sense. How you gonna kill our children with death? I'm gonna kill you with death. Doesn't make sense unless you understand the context. You had the black death that happened, the black plague, where over 200 million people were killed over a span of centuries with the black death, the bubonic, the bubonic plague. That's what he's talking about, and he did it. First killed him with death. And I will kill her children with death. And great tribulation. And I and, and you shall know that I am he which searches the reins of the hearts and will give every man according to your works. And I will give unto every one of you according unto your works. Christ is going to judge this whore, the Jezebel, and bring this whore church down in the last days. We're going to read the touch on it here. This is a religious demon that has invaded the church. And along with this religion, just read a, read a little bit of my outlines. The Jezebel spirit within the church that supplants the real men and women of God of faith. It neither moves them nor kills them all, nor kills their prosperity up. And captures the church. This spirit comes with false prophecy. And the false prophet is, is prophesying through divination, which you can read about in Deuteronomy 18 that God hated and forbade his people to do. But these are spirits that possess these people. You can read about that in the New Testament in Acts. Paul encountered as well as Peter. This, this, uh, these prophets be prophesying through Satan, it's divination, counterfeit prophets. Excuse me. And these prophets, they prophesied through the occult and wrong. One of the problems. It's a spirit of divination. They also have what's called the Kundalini or the trunk spirit that imitates the Holy Spirit being under the power of the Spirit. This demonic Kundalini serpent spirit that you'll find in yoga, all those are demonic poses to entertain these demons and to conjure these demons. Invite these demons into your life and you do yoga, but you see yoga being accepted in the so-called Christian church now. All these Eastern, old, ancient occult, demonic exercises is, and religious worship using these dances to invoke these spirits are in accepted now in the church. The Kundalini spirit. Uh, you had the Shinto sect in Japan. That you, you couldn't tell that part of from the Pentecostal one, which I believe in the Colossal Lay of the Holy Spirit. But Satan is the great imitator. And this Jezebel spirit, once it conquers the church, brings this Kundalini spirit that emulates and imitates being under the power or it's quote unquote slain in the spirit. But it's demonic. With usually raucous laughter and uncontrollable fits as an attachment. The Bible talks about the Holy Spirit being a gentleman. And Paul said, I'd rather speak five, and it also comes with demonic tongues. It's called the Holy Spirit. God said, I'd Paul said, I'd rather speak five words in a known tongue than a thousand in an unknown tongue. And he said, A spirit is subject to the prophet. But these spirits, of course, that are invading this Kundalini spirit is demons. People becoming demon possessed. I know I've seen a few of them in these churches, including the pastor, under the power of Satan, one under the power of God. But this is widespread in this new age coexist church movement. This Queen Jezebel from hell 
demonic takeover of the church, the infiltration of the church. But part of we read up here, hatred, seduction, calculation, manipulation, uh, sexual immorality, infiltration, insatiable appetite of the Protestant church, destroys the family, and murder is also attached to it. Like I said, the Inquisition over from anywhere from 60 to 100 million Christians slaughtered about the Catholic Church and the Inquisition under this Queen Jezebel demonic spirit. So that's captured the Protestant Church today. It's false prophets using the divine eye of providence or wrong. Imitating the Holy Spirit with the Kundalini serpent spirit, and also using holy magic or white magic for miracles. Imitate the Holy Spirit's healing power of miracles. You can do all this, and Satan can imitate all this. And it's been doing it for thousands of years. They have white magic on it, white witches. They, they, they heal. It's a heavy price tag involved. Like I say, you have gifts, seers, and all that. But using the divine eye, the providence of all. These false prophets prophesy and see. All right, let's go to Revelations. We're going to finish this up. Uh, uh, let me see. Revelation 17. You get a good picture of this Jezebel poor spirit in the church. Now, I've taught on this several times, so I'm going to just read it to you. And I'm gonna, if you want to get the teaching, I've taught on this in depth. Uh, get the Apocalypse series. I'm just reading it to you so you can understand, hear what your own ears. Uh, Revelation 17, 4. Oh, excuse me, Revelation 17, 3. So he carried me away in the spirit in the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit up on a scarlet colored beast, full of the names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. Like I said, I'm a total novice, but all the symbolism mean get the apocalypse teaching. I'm just read it to you. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color. This this woman whore, this this uh, religious whore, and decked with gold and precious. This is a demon that he's looking at. This is a spirit being decked with gold and precious stones and pearls having a golden cup in her hand, full of the abominations and filthiness of her fornication, having intercourse with the kings of the earth, state religion, and upon her forehead was written, the name written, Mystery Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth, this filthy whore church possessed by this queen, Jezebel spirit in the church produced a bunch of little Jezebel daughters. Also spin-offs of this whole church, the synagogue of Satan. And produce this satanic order of churches, whether it be Illuminati, Mason, um, whether it be the communism, whether it be fascism, whether it be Islam, whether it be Jehovah's Witness, Seven Day Adventist, whether it be Mormonism, you can all trace this back to this one Jezebel Horror Church, the Jesuit Horror. Vatican Catholic Church that spawned all these because all the founders of these beliefs that system that I just named was members and trained by the Jesuit order and was a member of this Jesuit Illuminati 
Mason Pyramid crew. And all of them. With those various teachings brought in a little twisted and tweaked in here, but all the, you can trace it all back to Rome, the Vatican. And that's what it's talking about here. Mystery Babylon, having that same her Babylonian Hermetic priestly order, pagan order, is Jezebel spirit. Sacrifices is sent to SRA slaughter of the innocents, including around the world. Mystery Babylon, the great mother of great harlots and abominations of the earth. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints. Also drunken with a drain of woman. It was the SRA slaughter of the innocents. And with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus, which I saw her and I wondered their great admiration. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore dost thou mark her? I will tell you the mystery of the woman and of the beast, their character, which have the seven heads and ten horns. Now, pay attention to this. The next verse, verse 8, the beast that thou sawest was, and is not, and shall sin out of the bottomless pit, and shall go into perdition. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names are not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world. They shall behold the beast that was, and is not, and yet is. And here is the mind of him that hath wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sit. And you know, I can say, give my teaching. I don't talk on this many times in different ways on Apocalypse series. And also give my teaching on the Antichrist.